Thank you, Father Bauer. Uh, welcome, Your Excellency, Father Becker, Reverend Fathers, Team Vienna visitors, any other honored guests, and my dear brothers. Uh, for you to first understand um, what this priest means to me, who I'll be speaking about tonight, I'd like to start with a story. Um, so it was the end of my freshman year at Winona State, and it was the first time I'd ever thought about seminary, about priesthood. And so going into that summer, uh, we were told that we would be getting a new chaplain. And so, um, you know, naturally I wanted a good priest around while I was discerning priesthood. Um, and so I prayed very fervently that summer um, for whatever priest would show up. So our first, first day of the fall semester, um, I meet this priest. His name is Father Jason Kern. And... Uh, First, first encounter I remember with him was uh, we were playing ultimate frisbee, and it was a group of I don't know twenty students, and then Father Kern, and uh, I, you know, soon found myself guarding him, and he's a little bit shorter than me, so I was able to you know kind of kind of block his way right, and eventually he he's getting so fr frustrated he uh, he took the frisbee and kind of like jab jabbed me in the gut twice, and I was kind of like oh. You know, and then they got the throw off, and uh, it was kind of right at that point, you know, after I got over the shock of, you know, what this priest was, you know, roughing me around, whatever. <laughs> um, it was, you know, immediately after that, I thought, this is my kind of priest. <laughs> this, this, is, uh, this is a man I want to be around. And um, my first impression was exactly right. Uh, Father Jason was um, a, a man who uh, I thought was very similar to myself, so it was very easy to connect with him and um, soon began to uh, you know, follow a lot of uh, what he did. And uh, yeah, I, a, a really big thing too um, in that encounter was just the uh, the realness, his, his humanness in that. You know, he was competitive, uh, and it was something that, that intrigued me. And so as I began to uh, spend the year with him, he took me as his spiritual directee and um, taught me many things, one of which uh, I remember it was the same week, our first week of the semester. Uh, I remember he was standing up, preaching after the gospel, and he said, I was uh, at Immaculate Heart of Mary Seminary, and then I went to Sacred Heart Major Seminary. I was ordained on the Feast of the Sacred Heart, and now I'm an associate at the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart. So needless to say, uh, I, love, I love the two, the two hearts, and I intend to bring that love of the hearts to you. And... Ever since that day, um, I can say that Father Jason uh, gave me a love of the, of the sacred and immaculate heart. And uh, that's, it's a gift that I can't, um, can't put a price on. And this was just an example of um, the preaching that uh, was so inspired by prayer, was so inspired by the Holy Spirit. And he wasn't afraid to, to tell the truth. He wasn't afraid to, um, you know, talk about things that were hard. But he did it in a, a loving way, in a fatherly way. And his, his preaching was very much how he lived his daily life as well. It was not um, one thing in the pulpit and another uh, throughout, his, throughout his day. He lived exactly like he preached, and he still does to this day. And he preaches charity, he preaches mercy, and he, he preaches brokenness as well. And um, it's, it's that brokenness that he acknowledges um, in our humanity, in his own humanity, that, um, that stood out to me um, back to that first encounter. It was the fact that he was willing to run around and, uh, you know, rub elbows with others and, and be real and not deny his humanity as a priest. 
And it's, it's something I, um, I didn't realize before I'd met Father Jason that, uh, you know, priests are still human. You're not ordained and, and become sort of some angelic being. Um, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so that's something that um, that Father Jason has taught me since the first day I met him, and that he continues to teach me, is that um, our humanity isn't something to be shunned or rejected or despised, but it's something to be embraced, and in that brokenness to allow Christ to overcome that brokenness and to um, to bring His light and His love and His mercy, and. It's through this, this guidance, um, this, uh, this fatherliness, um, that I've come to know uh, Father Jason as a priest who I can trust, a priest who uh, I wish to be like someday, a priest who uh, brings people to others, uh, sorry, a priest who uh, brings people to Christ. Um, and that a priest who doesn't bring um, people to himself, but to Christ. And that's, I believe, what Father Jason does. And uh, one day I wish to be a priest like Father Jason after the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And I wish many, uh, many more blessed years upon his priesthood. Praise be Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.